Vlogmas Day 7. TGIF and welcome back. Thank God it's Friday, Friday, Friday. Thank goodness. I am exhausted. It's been a busy week. I've had busy weeks, but I'm exhausted. So I have a couple of things here that I need to share with you and I'm going to incorporate that in this Vlogmas number seven. People, can you believe that I made Vlogmas number seven? I made it to number seven. I'm so proud of myself. I don't think I have ever, no, I know for a fact that I have never uploaded seven consecutive videos. I've never done that. So I feel very proud of myself. For having accomplished that. Okay, so let's just dive right in this because after the, I have to edit this video, upload it for you guys. And I also have a little mini project that I have here. That I'm going to show you guys, but let's just get rid of some of these empties that I've been holding on to since last month. So let's start with some body care. BBW Bath and Body Works. Japanese Cherry Blossom. I like this perfume. It's not my favorite. It's all right. I know other people who love it, but I'm not crazy about it. But I purchased it and it's done. This is one of my absolute favorites. This is Dark Kiss. Love it. Matter of fact, I think I ordered a new one. I have a BBW box that should be coming in soon. And I do believe that I purchased a new one. I love this scent. I told you guys, I think I'm addicted to this scent. This is the only scent that I am really addicted to from BBW. This is really, really sweet. Love Dark Kiss. And I can't wait to get my new one because I need to have that scent in my life. Okay. Um... Oh, okay. And some BBW candles. So I finished this. This was Harvest Gathering. This smelled absolutely wonderful. Um, this was full in a jar and the packaging was really pretty. Um, and I kept the lid from other uh, candles. So I'm going to keep this lid. And I'll just swap them out. Like if it comes with a silver lid, I like these better for the fall. So I'm keeping that lid. That smells really, really good, guys. That harvest gathering, really good. And this next candle, oh no, this isn't BBW. Where did I buy this from? I can't remember. Oh, Kohl's. I bought this candle from Kohl's and this is from Sonoma. And this is the Bourbon Pumpkin Brulee. Okay, now I remember. It looks like this. I think I'm keeping this lid as well. That lid looks like that. It just has some fall leaves on it and stuff like that. You see my camera. <laughs> yeah, really nice. Really nice scent. It's really chocolatey. It's sweet. It smells like some marshmallows and chocolate. That's what it smells like, marshmallows and chocolate. Um, okay, and this other candle... This was from, I bought this at TJ Maxx. Um, I was looking for a candle. Yeah, Marshall's, look, it still has the, the tag, if you can see. <laughs> I don't know how much I paid for it, but I'm sure it wasn't much because majority of Marshall's candles smell, I mean, um, are smell. They smell good, but they're um, cheaper. So this is a Yankee candle, Mr. and Mrs. And I'll tell you, I will never purchase this again because the notes are not very strong. It has a very nice, um, light, spring, perfumey um, scent, but I'm not a fan, not at all. So this I will not be purchasing again. Nope. All right, so now into some personal items. Um, I just wanna let you guys know about this 
um, Ren Puree, Advanced Extra Strength Tea Tree and Lemon Sage. This is conditioner. Refining. I'm sorry. Ref I'm really tired, people. <laughs> I'm seeing. I'm starting to see things. Refreshing moisture. This tea tree conditioner is really good, and we purchased this. You know, I can't remember where we purchased this. I have to ask my daughter. Actually, she, I think she's the one that purchased this, and I can't remember where she purchased this from. This has a really nice mint tea tree scent, but it's really good for your hair. It really moisturizes. Um, and it helps it grow and this is good for color treated hair. It's safe for color treated hair as I said If you see this guys, I'm gonna try to find out and I'll link it below But this stuff is really good. It's really good. Love that stuff and I will definitely be repurchasing that Now for some oh one more body product. Well, maybe two I don't know if you guys remember, but I hauled this in one of my bath. Oh yes, this was from Bath and Body Works. This was also from BBW. This was this is the um, patchouli essential oil aromatherapy. So the way that I used this was I would you know shower, and then in the shower I would spray myself, and then rub it all over because it it has but it has very little, um, very little oil in it. I think it's like most mostly water so that's why I didn't like it um I think I would like more oil because I do like especially in the winter months um like putting oil all over my body before I come out of the shower and I'll just dab myself but this will I, I will not repurchase this again I don't even know where the top went but it smells really nice and I love anything patchouli but this no not at all Mm -mm. Okay, so on to some facial products. So this, I received this in my fat, in one of my Fab Fit Fun boxes, and this is the Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion. This was pretty good. I really like that, and I will probably repurchase this from Murad. Um, this stuff is really good and is really good for acne prone skin, as I have. Um, it's not greasy at all, at all. You can use this at night or in the morning and under your makeup as well. It's, it's really moisturizing, but it's not greasy. But you can feel the moisture. This stuff is really good and it has absolutely no scent to it. None. So, I'm not even going to smell it because it smells like nothing, but that was pretty good. Um, one of my favorite... Uh, primers, face primers, is the baby skin. You <laughs> see that I use that bad boy up. It is flat. Look at that. <laughs> I like baby skin primer, but one mistake that I did was using this in the summertime. If you have oily skin, do not use this because this has a heavy silicone um, base to it. So your face is going to look like a big grease ball. I'm going to tell you that right now. This is best in the winter time. And I will only use this in the winter time. But this is my first time trying during the summer. I will never do that again. Because you know me and my flashes. It was not a good look. Nope. Not at all. But I really like this stuff because it smooths everything out because of the silicone in it. Love it. And it's really cheap. You can find this. I usually buy mine in the um, Walgreens or Rite Aid. And it's about four or five bucks for this little tube. But it's pretty good. Okay, on to the next one. is uh, I used up this Bert, Burt's Bees. And this was in the pomegranate flavor, I guess, or color. And it's red in color. I don't know if you can see. But it's red. I don't like this. Don't like it at all. No, nope. it doesn't really leave um, a red tint. It doesn't, but it doesn't do anything to moisturize. At least not for me. Your lips. I I will never be repurchasing this again. And I just needed a chapstick really quick in the in the whim, and I just grabbed it. 
well, I think I purchased this in Rite Aid and never again. And I need to go back and buy me, I need to, I'm going to go tomorrow and buy me some chapstick because I usually have like three laying around my, my house, either two in the house and then one in my bag. And this is my last one. And I used it up because I bought it, but don't like it. Now this product, let me tell you, this is from Smashbox and this is a concealer. This is the Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer and I received this. I received it. Don't know if it was in my Ipsy bag or my FabFitFun. I, I can't remember. It looks like that. This is everything. If you're looking for a really good concealer, as long as you pick the right shade, and this was the right shade they sent me. They sent me, mm -mm. you know, I need, and I say this in every video, I really need to bring my damn glasses because I can't see a darn thing. This is in medium dark. Okay, medium dark. And I love this concealer. I love this so much that I repurchased one on Amazon. Now, I'm not quite sure if it's the same price. It would probably be cheaper if I bought it from Smashbox. But I ordered it from Amazon because I was shopping there anyway. My face feels itchy today. I don't know why. I don't know. But um, this concealer is everything, people. Everything. Love it. Love it. I'm hooked. I'll be purchasing this from now on. And it works well with my Kat Von D um, foundation wonders okay now this is another one of my i think this is the last thing yeah this is the last thing um one of my favorites well it's mm, um this is the matte magic mist and set this is all right from elf this is the your setting spray this is okay it smells all right i like it it's kind of on the alcohol side but um, when I need one and I've run out, you hear that? Guess who that is? And I lock the door and I'm speaking low so that he doesn't hear me talking. It's my cat. And still. Still. Anyway. Love this. I like this a lot. I have other ones that I prefer, but this is this is pretty good. Um, and it will pretty much set your makeup. I think that is it. That's all I have for now. Um, I am going to... I think I just cut my finger. That's great. I am, I'm all over the place. <laughs> when I'm tired, it's about 11 p.m. I don't know if I told you that already. I get really dumb like this. Um, I am going to get rid of all this stuff, edit this wonderful video for number seven, and take a shower and hit the sack because tomorrow I will probably be taking you guys along with me and going shopping. Or well, at least I'm going to attempt to go shopping. I'm going to clean the house first and see how that works out, and then I'm going shopping. So, look forward to that. But the little project that I was telling you guys about just now is, oh, I think I'm starting to flash. <sighs> Don't get old. This is terrible. And I was just free, my hands are freezing, but I'm getting hot now. Anyway, um, so at work, we send cards to, you know, other departments and stuff like that. So my boss gave me these two cards that were samples because she was gonna get rid of them. So I said, no, 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 no. I said, you know what I do with those? I usually have a frame at home, one or two frames, and I usually put um, the, the cards in a frame and it looks like a picture. So she was like, here. So she gave them to me. And this is one. Isn't that pretty? Nice little Christmas tree. And it says Merry Christmas at the bottom. And this is card number two, which is really pretty in black. Black, gold, and red. That is gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? 
So I don't know, guys, which one should I put in a frame? You tell me. I don't know. Leave the comment down below. Which one should I put? Because I think I'm only gonna choose one. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do two. I don't think. I think I only have one frame available currently. So I don't know. You guys, let me know. The black one or the tree. Right. So I'm gonna do that too now, and um, I will see you guys in the next one. Good night and take care.